Today I show you how to make the EMP or Eosin Methylene Blue agar. I think that this is the most important agar or type of selective medium because it indicates the growth of the most famous bacteria which is Escherichia coli. This type of bacteria will give you a distinctive metallic green sheen to the colonies on the plate. And um, I think this is so special because if you know that somewhere is um, E. coli, you know that the place is dirty. And that's because it's uh, pretty important to be able to distinguish E. coli in an easy way, like on this plate. Uh, the dyes, methylene blue and eosine yellow, that's those two little containers, um, they are toxic for gram-positive bacteria. And furthermore, the colonies of bacteria which are able to ferment lactose, which you can buy in the supermarket, that the EMB agar contains, like E. coli, will have another color than those bacteria who can't ferment lactose, like Salmonella, or different types of Salmonella. As always, you need three aseptic agar plates for 100 milliliters of uh, the EMB solution and a container to um, put the solution 100 milliliters of it in the microwave. So this is 500 milliliters to have enough space for the bubbles and the steam, you know, from the from the solution. Now I weighed out all the ingredients. Here are two stains: methylene blue, which appears to be black, and eosine yellow, which seems to be dark red. Um, and that's for 100 milliliters of tap water and use tap water not distilled water because then you've got your minerals and all the things in your water which is good for the bacteria growth and um, I prepared the container my 500 milliliter flask or bottle if you want and now I will just put in all the ingredients together in the tap water after stirring it a bit with your hand you can Put it in a microwave for around two minutes or one and a half minute, and don't forget to unscrew the cap because if you don't do it, it will explode. Now, after the microwaving, your solution should be after a few minutes around 60 degrees hot. Now, you can light your Bunsen burner and with the help of a towel. Just pour the agar solution in your plates. As I had some of the solution left, I could make four plates, and I think it worked pretty well. The color is nice, but um, apart from that, there are those nasty black dots on the plates. I don't know from where they come. Maybe one of the ingredients didn't dilute pretty good. Um, and I labeled this fourth plate test and I won't streak any bacteria or anything um, on this plate. I just want to see if uh, my aseptic technique worked well and um, it, wor it worked well if nothing growth on this plate. Yeah, on, um, on this one I will streak a sample from a public toilet and see what grows on it. Um, here I'll put any suspension of maybe the pond or something on, I don't know. And here I will uh, put my finger on this plate and see what grows on my finger. And after that I'll just put it in the incubator at 37 degrees, as a, that's body temperature or 100 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. Now that's the uh, last plate I have to handle. I've put different types of samples on this plate and um, I decided what suspension I will put on this plate and I took a piece of the shit of a friend's dog and made a suspension out of it and that's what I will streak on this plate now. So with the help of an inoculation loop I will take a sample out of here looks pretty ugly, I know, but I mean, it's nature. The plates have been in the incubator for 24 hours now at 37 degrees Celsius. 
and um, I'll take them out but I will examine and look at them outside because I have a nicely well ventilated area and um, I'm doing this outside wearing a fabric mask and gloves of course to prevent any infections because I will open them now outside I will open the plates uh, that's the first one, that's a test plate and as I expected nothing grows on them, on it it's absolutely clean, you could eat from it Yeah. then that's the fingerprint plate I took fingerprints from three different people the left one is my finger and on the middle finger there is actually some E. coli which you can see as there's um, this green metallic sheen I talked about and the right finger is the cleanest one I think there's nearly no bacteria growth on this one that's the toilet, the public toilet plate and um, there's nearly no bacteria growth on this plate I expected to be more bacteria on this plate and you can see the traces of the swab but not much more that's the most interesting plate that's the suspension of the dog shit and as you can see it is full of bacteria growth um, those bacteria with the black center that should be a type of enterobacter and I can't really identify the rose other ones but um, yeah maybe I would find it out later but I'm not sure, maybe it's E. coli, it has a slightly green sheen but I don't think so, I'm not sure but that's Enterobacter